I'm Matthew Manhard, and I will be reading for the role of Luke. Now what would the Enslings be doing out here on a lovely night like this? Luke, it's 1am. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I always do this path. I've uh, never seen you two out here before. This is another one of those hobbies you two are picking up. <laughs> you know, we just thought it was a nice idea to walk and talk, you know. It just gets so okay. busy, we like to stop and enjoy each other's company. What's in the pot? I think you, uh, you two are up to something. Uh, no, nothing. We're just walking. Have a good night. Ah, oh, come on. Tell me what's in the pot. <coughs> oh, God. What's, what's in the pot? <coughs> I'm Dave Ostrovsky. I'm auditioning for uh, Luke. I'm a freshman creative writing major. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm not going through with this. Oh, hey there, stranger. What are the Ensley's up to tonight? What are you guys doing? Uh, Luke, it's 1 a.m. What are you doing uh, here? I, past couple weeks I've been running. At night, it's like, I read an article, like, you know, the, the, sun, the moonlight directly impacts the calorie burn. It's fantastic. Are you guys new uh, hobby or something like that? What I, are you doing? We just thought it was a nice idea to walk and talk, you know? It's just, it just sure. gets so busy, we like to stop and enjoy each other's what's company. The, uh, what's up with the pot? Who's that? Um. Are you guys scheming or something like that? What is that? Uh, no, nothing. We're, we're just walking. Have a good night. Oh, yeah, come on. Let me just take a look. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matt Eulish, and today I'll be reading as Luke. Now, what would the Ensleys be doing on a lovely night like this? Luke, it's 1 a.m. What are you doing here? I always run this path, and I've never seen you two. It's, this is another hobby you two are picking up. <laughs> We just thought it was a nice idea to walk and talk, you know? It just, it gets so busy. We like to stop and enjoy each other's company. Uh-huh. Uh, well, what's with the pot? Uh... I think you two are up to something. No, nothing. We're just walking. Have a good night. Well, tell me what's in the pot. Now, what would the Ensleys be doing out on a lovely night like this? Luke, it's 1 a.m. What are you doing here? I always run this path, and I've never seen you two. Is this another uh, hobby you two are picking up? We just thought it was a nice idea to walk and talk, you know? It just gets so busy, we like to stop and enjoy each other's company. Well, uh, what's, what's with the pot? I think you two are up to something. Hi, my name is Matthew Eulish, and today I'll be reading for Tom. This is realistic. There is no other way to get a client unless they die. We don't have to murder somebody in cold blood. Just, just help coax one of the oldies along a bit. Just one. Coaxing and killing are two different things. Are you insane? Please imagine yourself murdering John O'Malley, whether it's lethal injection or strangling. Then imagine going to jail. You've never killed anything in your life. Let's not start now. Look, hear me out. What if we made one of them look like an accident? Just one accident. Deadly gas? Tom, what are you on? Annie, we are officially desperate. Just one accident to get back on our feet. But we're innocent people, Tom. Innocent people who have to sell their shoes and dresses and jewelry if we don't make any money soon. No more country club membership. No more weekend trips to Napa. No more Cartier charm bracelets for every month anniversary we celebrate. <laughs> I'm James Neal, and I'm reading for Tom. Well, if they can't die by themselves, something needs to speed up the process. Or someone. Oh, yeah, like us. Let's just go and slash up old man O'Malley. Sure thing. Let me grab the axe. You get the ski masks. Tom, please start thinking realistically. Help me out here. I am helping. And this is realistic. There is no other way to get a client unless they die. Now, we don't have to murder somebody in cold blood. Just help coax, uh, one of the oldies along a little bit. Just once. Uh, coaxing and killing are two different things. Are you insane? Please imagine yourself murdering John O'Malley. Whether it's lethal injection or strangling, then imagine going to jail. You've never killed anything in your life. Let's not start now. 
Hear me out. What if we made it look like an accident? One accident. Deadly gas, Tom, what are you on? Annie, we are officially desperate, okay? Just one accident to get us back on our feet. But we're innocent people, Tom. Hmm. Innocent people who are going to have to sell their dresses and their shoes and their jewelry if we don't start making money. No more uh, country club membership. No more trips to Napa. No more Cartier charm bracelets for every month anniversary we celebrate. Just one accident? Hi, I'm Jordan, and I'll be reading for Annie. Coaxing and killing are two different things. Are you insane? Please imagine yourself murdering John O'Malley, whether it's lethal injection or strangling. Then imagine going to jail. You've never killed anything in your life. Let's not start now. Hear me out. What if we made it look like an accident? One accident. Deadly gas. Tom, what are you on? Annie, we are officially desperate. Just one accident to get back on our feet. But we're innocent people, Tom. Innocent people who will have to sell their shoes and dresses and jewelry if we don't make any money soon. No more country club membership, no more weekend trips to Napa, no more Cartier charm bracelets for every month anniversary we celebrate. Just one Accident. Hello, my name is Hattie Smith, and I will be reading for Annie. Yeah, like us? Yeah, why don't we just go and slash old man O'Malley? Yeah, I'll grab the axe! You get the ski masks! Come on, start thinking realistically, please. Help me out. I am helping, and this is realistic. There is no other way to get a client unless they die. We don't have to murder someone in cold blood. Just help coax one of the oldies along a little bit. Just one. Coaxing and killing are two different things. Are you insane? Just, just imagine, for one second, murdering John O'Malley. And then, whether it's by lethal injection or strangulation, then try to imagine going to jail. Honey, you've never killed a thing in your life. Let's not start now, okay? Hi, I'm Megan Brotherton, and I'm reading for Annie. Coaxing and killing are two different things. Look, please, imagine yourself murdering John O'Malley, all right? Whether it's lethal injection or strangling, then imagine yourself going to jail. Are you insane? You haven't killed anyone in your entire life. Let's not start now. Hear me out. What if we made it look like an accident? One accident. Deadly gas? Tom, what are you on? Annie, we are officially desperate. Just one accident. We need to get back on our feet. But Tom, we are innocent people. Innocent people who will have to sell their shoes and dresses and jewelry if we don't make any money soon. No more country club membership, no more weekend trips to Napa, no more Cartier charm bracelets for every month anniversary we celebrate. Just one accident. And I keep my bracelets. Hi, I'm Danielle Rage, and I'm reading for Annie today, and I'm 20 years old. I don't know if that matters, but we're going with it. Or someone. <laughs> yeah, like us. Let's just go and slash up old man O'Malley. Yeah, you, you, you get the axe, and I'll get the ski masks. Tom, please think rationally here. Help me out. I am helping, and this is realistic. There is no other way to get a client unless they die. We don't have to murder somebody in cold blood. Just help coax one of the oldies along a bit. Just one. Coaxing and killing are two very different things. Are you insane? Please imagine yourself murdering John O'Malley, whether it's lethal injection or strangling, and then imagine going to jail. You've never killed anything in your life. Let's not start now. Hear me out. What if we made it look like an accident? One accident. Deadly. 
deadly gas. Tom, what are you, Tom, what are you on? Annie, we are officially desperate. Just one accident to get back on our feet. But Tom, we are innocent people. Innocent people who have to sell their shoes and dresses and jewelry if we don't make any money soon. No more country club membership, no more weekend trips to Napa, no more Cardi charm bracelets for every month anniversary we celebrate. Just one accident. <laughs>